Hello internet friends, welcome back once again and thank you for joining me today. I want to talk a little bit about this session that you're watching right now. This was uh, last week's day five and just kind of, I want to address something I guess that I've been thinking about and that I think is really important to consider uh, when it comes to real effective programming and that is the importance of being boring, the importance of finding something that you can consistently do enough to get good at it and to avoid falling into the trap of feeling like you need to constantly be changing things up or or finding some sort of external motivation in what you're doing as if what you're doing uh, and the goals that you're pursuing aren't good enough to warrant just putting in hard solid work. Uh, I think that when people start training for the first time or when they start really kind of addressing any kind of pursuit that they have whenever you're finding something you're like I want to get better at this I want to I want to improve on this skill it's really motivating initially to have quick little bouts of progress and that can keep you going and what people tend to forget though is that it goes a lot further than that first initial improvement and the kind of the honeymoon period of rapidly improving and getting better wears off very quickly. And to really consistently make growth type improvements to keep getting better and better, it's not necessarily doing the thing that's the most flashy or the most exciting or necessarily the most uh, interesting. A lot of the time it just comes down to putting in solid, grindy grunt work. And uh, in my case, that is you know, continuing to accept these uh, constant repetitive sets and doing similar work sets, similar rep ranges, and having the weight move slowly and avoiding doing things like uh, trying to constantly test myself. Real building, real growth, real uh, training is not necessarily a flashy thing. Testing tends to be flashy. When you have something like you're going for a PR, you're trying to do an AMRAP, or you're trying to figure out what your absolute limits are in in some way where it's set up that you kind of have all your eggs in one basket and and set yourself up for the best chance of success in any one instance, that's, that's testing. That's not necessarily training. And so it kind of is a gut check, and it kind of is one of those things where, yeah, you have to check your ego and you have to potentially put yourself in a situation that is less exciting, less comfortable, um, less interesting. And uh, I think this was brought up because a few people have, have let me know that my videos uh, tend to be a little bit repetitive in nature. And um, granted, it's a very small uh, minority versus the majority of people who tell me that they find something valuable or interesting in the videos that I'm making. But I do think it's a reflection of the kind of the point that my training is at right now too, where uh, while I do want to make some, you know, some more helpful, informative, encouraging content uh, for the sake of you guys, the viewers, I I have to admit that a lot of the stuff is kind of repetitive at this point. The the and that's reflected in my training. That's kind of reflected in my life. I live sort of a repetitive life because it's it's what has become necessary to continue growing. You have to just keep hammering away and live the grind. I think that people lose that. It gets really exciting to think about it and rom romanticize this idea of this long journey and say, oh yeah, it's when I'm starting this journey, it's going to take years and years, but eventually I'll get there. Because there, people tend to look past the steps that it takes, and they find that focus, they find that motivation in saying, oh, I'm going to get to this point eventually. And then they kind of forget that once you have committed to doing that, you're also committing to the hours and hours and days and days and weeks and months and years that it takes to get to that point. And it's not always exciting. It's not always the most fun thing. It's not always the the testing this new thing or having this new max or or feeling those that that rush of adrenaline that comes with trying something new and and seeing very visible progress. Most of the time, it's just how much can you endure 
a little bit of the monotony that comes with trying to improve a skill and get truly good at it, or to become truly great at it, honestly. It doesn't take very much to get good at something. It takes a heck of a lot of work to master a skill and to and to show and exhibit mastery in some sort of pursuit. And so I guess this isn't this isn't me complaining about that. Absolutely, I, I welcome all forms of uh, personal improvement type criticism, but I think that it also offers the opportunity to look at something that is not as exciting to talk about. It is not as encouraging to see and say, oh, well, this person's doing this thing. It's so motivating to see how far you can take yourself and what kind of progress you can make with a lot of time. You also, when you see that and you become motivated by it, you also need to recognize and take in the fact that it does take a lot of work and most of the time a large time commitment and a commitment to perhaps a lifestyle uh, that is a little bit less exciting and more slightly monotonous um, and you can find just as much enjoyment in that if you place your mentality in a spot where you're finding your perspective as being one where you enjoy that grind and say I love knowing that every day I'm doing something to get a little bit closer to the goals that I have and I'm enjoying that process, that part of the journey and embracing that potentially repetitive, slightly boring thing and learning to grow from that and find encouragement in the process itself instead of always getting stuck uh, looking at the future and saying that's where I'm working to and kind of skimming over and ignoring the real commitment that it takes to get there. So I hope this uh, encourages you guys to think about that a little bit. Um, and uh, I do also want to say that I am going forward with the programming uh, the programming series that I'm starting, and those videos should start popping up pretty soon. I want to make sure that I uh, get as much quality in those as possible and make sure that if I'm going to be releasing something with a very educational purpose, that it does have enough of a, enough of a, a foundation that I can stand behind it and say that I believe these things to be a good source of that information, because there is a lot of information out there, and uh, I don't want to just add something that isn't up to par with uh, some of the other people who have made content about that. So uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to that in the future, and I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.